Welcome back. Your own Lenny Thaxon was diagnosed with cancer last May. The last time she anchored this show was June 16th. After five surgeries, radiation, chemotherapy, a long road, today is the day she returns. But first, before we talk to her, here is an in-depth look inside her private fight. Well, I just finished treatment number seven. So, a little more than halfway there now. I'm really, really tired. Uh, overall, things are going okay though, but definitely not easy. <laughs> going to be time to go now. Here we stood three months out from hearing it's cancer. A mom and wife and only 39, I had no risk factors and no family history. You've likely heard the basics of my story. One, two, three. But this is what you haven't seen. Some people make it, some don't. I don't know. Why did I make it? I have no idea. I saw others' ups and downs. <laughs> and often felt my ups were few and far between. <sighs> some days are just hard. I couldn't have my chemo yesterday because my white blood cell count's too low. It's like I'm glad I can feel somewhat decent for another week, but. You know, I'm just more behind. Can't go back to work sooner. I'd like to say I remember this day, but most days went like this. Tears, doctors, surgeries, chemo, radiation, pills, ER stays, scans, fear, and pain. Really How fun was that? Family came in to help. Friends picked up the slack and uplifting words from people I've never met never stop, and I needed it. It's a beautiful day to get stabbed in the chest and get some blood work. This is major chemo fatigue. I'm still feeling pretty good. My hands are shaking though. I'm actually surprised I'm able to hold the phone. Ready? Mm -hmm. mm. Um, I got my pump on it's somewhere around here. Um, I wear that at home for 46 hours, then come back here and they'll take it off. So this is round four, eight more to go. I did round seven in chemo last week. I've been in so much pain ever since. Having a really hard day today. It got so bad my oncologist said to take a break or I probably wouldn't finish. It's some of the worst physical and mental pain you can imagine, and you don't even recognize yourself. I'm only supposed to lose 15% of my hair during chemo. But uh, I started losing my hair about, you know, midsummer just for malnutrition and stress. So it's been hard uh, because I love my hair. But um, it'll grow back. It was like incredibly hard to cut my hair, obviously. And I've had really nice comments and I got one comment on Facebook this morning from some guy about how it was just an absolute fail and it's like I know it's just one comment shouldn't upset me but it does but I also lived some beautiful moments so I just dropped Lachlan off for school and it occurs to me I have never in his life dropped him off at school Till today. That's morning show life for you. And finally, there were more and more ups. We're off to try chemo again. <laughs> it's my first time driving since June. I walked outside and I thought I had my purse, but it was actually my IV bag. Going to chemo for, I think, the last time, or like not anymore. just really emotional this morning about it. It's just been hard. And I can't believe I'm done. I've done nothing for the past year but try to beat cancer. And now my treatments are over and and you're you're also going, what just happened? Thank you everybody. Oh my gosh. Yes. What a rip.
it's good to see myself on the TV. I can't believe I did it. First of all, I want to thank you, BJ, for taking time to put that together. And listening to me cry over and over again, I sure wasn't that great. I share all that with you because I kind of feel like I'm meant to. The messages from people getting colonoscopies and catching things is really blowing me away. So are all the notes you are sending me, understanding the survivor's guilt I'm feeling and encouraging me. I could never list everyone I want to thank. And I feel like I could never repay all of you. But there are some that I want to mention. I'm sorry I'm crying through the whole time. My family doctor, who I feel like saved my life, Dr. Amanda Halchins. If you don't have a doctor who will push for a colonoscopy, even though you don't fit the profile, find someone like her, please. To my surgeons, Dr. Pittman, Dr. Patel, and Dr. Diaz, I'm thankful to have the 12 scars you gave me. I really am. Carolyn Harshbarger, my St. Vincent ER navigator, but to me, you're the person who got us through all of it, and you still are. Thank you. My chemo oncologist, Dr. Rimu Beer Hooray. Thank you for keeping me going when I really thought I couldn't. Also, you're the best dressed, not just doctor, anyone I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. My radiation oncologist, Dr. Christopher Lieager. I know you're watching and I wouldn't know where to start with how you've helped me, thank you. To all my nurses, I will never forget what you did for me, all of you. And um, you know, to be honest, it's just too emotional to talk about my family and my friends, um, especially my husband. I mean, I don't have enough words for that. And for all of you here, all of you, thank you for everything that you did. You thank you to my therapist, <laughs> <laughs> big time. Um, <clears throat> you know, I was in the hospital for a month last June, and I don't know if you guys know this, but I was so out of it for three weeks, I lost my memory, didn't know who anyone was, but I was anchoring the news from my hospital <laughs> oh, bed, right. tossing to you, <laughs> tossing to nurses, getting so mad that they would not do a report. Yeah, and, and Chris <laughs> mentioned something about that you said like you were upset that I didn't respond. Yes, to yes. <laughs> I know, it's Scott. Yeah. Scott always responds. So, but apparently a lot happened he'll never mention in that hospital stay that I probably don't even want to know. Yeah. Well, I can't tell you how uplifting it's been for all of us just to see you back, to know that you're back this week for the race is really special. Thank you. I know it is to you as well for and all of us. And thank you for saying my name every day, <sighs> you know, that I just, it was so nice to not feel forgotten, right. you know, and I felt so s supported from people I don't even know. I, I've told some people I felt like I've just been like in a big hug the last year from yeah. everybody and I needed it so bad. And yeah. I was going to say in your journey, uh, you relive it in a podcast. I've listened mm -hmm. to every episode. I Thank think, you. I think it's helped so many people, you know, from the start to my favorite episode six, when, and I don't want to bring up Chris, but it's kind of a lighthearted story. I said story. I might really cry if we talk about it. <laughs> but that one's kind of lighthearted. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Which one? Where basically he revealed a little too much information. Yes, he did. Yeah. He did. Well, I'll just say, if you know anyone going through colorectal cancer, a bidet is such a great gift. <laughs> it's like the number one gift you can give someone. So yeah. <laughs> we talk about that. I will say, I, I try to put Life with Lindy, the podcast, out every Wednesday, but I have skipped last week. Because just coming back, to, it was just kind of overwhelming, you know, right. getting ready for right. work and, mm -hmm. and what that. Oh, I'm glad that's over with. I have been just like... <laughs> Oh, you're coming man. back at 8 to do the same thing again. Yes, I am, 840. <laughs> yeah. And tomorrow, you'll be anchoring yeah. the 6. The 6, yeah. yeah. My oncologist said, take it really slow. Your stamina is not what you think it's going to be. So you're doing you know. one hour of the 3 of the early morning. Yes, and then I'll go, and then in a couple weeks, I'll do 5 to 7. Then I have to go back and see him, and he'll be like, okay, you can work full now. Okay. Yeah. That All right. Makes sense. We're here. Whatever you need. Thank you. So good to Thank see you, you Jim and Britt, too, for everything. Yeah. By the way, your you. short hair looks lovely, by the way. It really it does. Thank I you love so it. much it for so saying that. Really it's, really like I love it. it. It's, it's, I'm getting used to it, yeah. but yeah, I'm I'm thankful to have what I have. Yeah. So.